Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours through, of course, the Scarander. And we're going up against the Rizzle Man in actually a league-based league -base match in the NUCL. NUCL is an NU league that I've been attending to, sadly though, and have this in mind. Uh, they start off a lot earlier than, I, earlier than I thought they would, and uh, it definitely is affecting me since October is extremely busy for me. Uh, just in general, so I've been actually just focusing on the LBA and made all the pre plannings for the future opponents there. Due to, well, let's face it, I don't have the time to do something abstract and more than that. So, um, I had that in mind going into this battle and it didn't help that I forgot the game at work, so I had to uh, use the Pokemon I drafted from the Pokebank, which was not really all the Pokemon I drafted. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was really bad, and the preparation here is minimal, and I really, really just want this battle out of the way. And looking through my opponent's team here, he has Mowile, Torterra, Rodan, uh, Stunky, Roselia, and Mesprit. So, really, really thick team, really, really, like, it's, it's a slow team. Uh, I'm guessing Torterra, uh, or I mean Rodan, and the Mesprit was the only thing that was fast. And I was expecting the Mesprit to be Scarf, because... Let's face it, his team is rather slow, so that was, it should have been, you know, the go-to plan. I would have played like that if I had a team like this. And I didn't know what to expect. I actually didn't check his team before going into this match. I just picked six Pokemon that might work, and it's not like I have a lot of options either. Uh, so I have a Raichu, Quillfish, Sceptile, Mr. Mime, Girder, and Steelix. And yeah, I mean, um, besides that, like I said, I were out of items and just stuff like that. So it's really bad going into this game because this game did not have everything I needed. And I, by mistake, brought Sceptalite instead of Citrus Berry, which is gonna suck a lot. And you're gonna see why. Uh, but besides that, I was basically gonna lead with Raichu to confirm that he's Scarf with his Mesprit. And basically go guns blazing here, hoping to hurt something. Or someone. Um, so anyway, the Man is gonna start with his Mesprit. So I was thinking that we have two options. Either he does the first play I mentioned, which is basically go for U-turn, or he will go for Stealth Rocks. He does go for U-turn, which of course, like I said there, gonna show that he has the likes of the Scarf on him. And that's completely fine. Uh, I don't really risking too much by going for Volt Switch. I know he could switch out to... Uh, Torterra, but if that's the case, then I do pack the Hidden Power Ice. Um, but the Volt Switch will do a fair amount of damage there. It's Roselia after all, a bit of Violet, and it will make it super bulky. And of course, with no restriction on the items, uh, there can be a lot of Violet Pokémon, which was something I kind of realized going into this battle. Uh, so anyway, he's going to leave Narfet, and since I knew he had Skunky, I can't go for a better move than Icy Wind. And of course, that's not really gonna do a whole lot, and the speed will not really do anything. Uh, I do pack Dazzling Gleam, but at the same time, I don't wanna risk that, since uh, a good crunch or sucker punch could hurt. So I gotta go to Alphalex, which is. Um, uh, it, it's now I realize I had two Steelix, <laughs> two different Steelix. I have a Swift one with Cheer Force Life Orb, and I had this set. Yeah. It is this set. I really was I was so disappointed because I realized now that that it's it's not gonna do what I was hoping to hoping for doing and that really really sucks. Uh, it's a, basically a stall Steelix and it has no attack investment. And he's going for Will Wisp here. I should probably predict that going to Girder, but I didn't want to risk a potential T waving. So I was hoping that he would actually gone for um uh, Volt Squid or anything like that, try to overpredict, but no, he stays really, really safe. And I go for the Dragon Tail, and of course, that gonna force out the Moal because that's the matchup I wanted. Uh, that's gonna work really well in my favor. And here is actually a very, very slow s part of the game um, because I. <laughs> no, it's not yet, it's not yet, but that's the matchup that's gonna be slow. Uh, I'm gonna go to Raichu. And um, he goes for Stealth Rocks, and that's fine. I was really hoping here to force him out, uh, but he's actually gonna stay in, so I overpredict a whole lot here. Uh, brings it down for 50%, and the play rough will kill me. 
And you know what? Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Really? <laughs> I was so sure we would switch out to Torchera because of the Thunderbolt would have done a lot of damage on this thing. But no, he stays in. So I gotta go back to Alpha Lake. Since I'm burned, I am like not really, really like well here at all. And he's gonna show me the pain split. And once that hits me, I was like really, really thinking about you know what to do next. And I also realized that um, he does have a lot of HP invested, while I have not a lot of HP invested. So, um, as of this point, the reason I went for Dragon Tail is because I know he has two floaters on his team, being the Rotom and the Mesprit, so I was sure that he was gonna switch out to that eventually. I mean, his player up does 10. I explain to you guys, it does 10 damage! And that tag fell, you know, that sucks, I go for the EQ eventually to bring him down and um, yeah, I score a crit here which of course is unfortunate but due to him packing the pain split and can stall me out I can't really switch out or I don't have the necessary means to pull off something good here and um, I was basically uh, hoping that he would stop going for pain split and switch out eventually so I just continued for going for Dragon Tail now watching this game again, I do realize that the Russian man is playing extremely, extremely predictable and being basically open himself wide open and I just go down the rabbit hole and thinking that he will do something immense which he won't because he doesn't need to and that sucks so much because I basically kill my Steelix myself here by going for Dragon Tails over and over again and while the leftovers keep on feeding him as the burn eventually bring me down. So, as you heard my voice, I was actually looking back at this game here. This is one of the worst situations I ever had to attend to and it really, really frustrates me that I didn't go for, like, there was no... there was no real means of actually going for anything else here and I do realize that watching it again that... Um, I had the means to make a difference and I I just I don't do it and that frustrates the hell out of me and um, yeah of course I can potentially survive another round of player off but I won't and that's fine uh, and I knew uh, that I had a physical septile here and like I said I thought I had a citrus berry had I pulled this off it might actually have done the trick here or it would have helped me a lot uh, but it won't, because I have the Septalite on it. And I was like, yeah, fuck this shit. So I'm gonna go for Sword Stats anyway. Um, and of course, I'm just gonna confirm that the player up does around 50%, which would have been enough for the Citrus to kick in. But you know what? I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Uh, the thing that's gonna bother me a bit here, though, is that I go for Drain Punch instead of um, an EQ. And of course, that doesn't kill him. I did go for Drain Punch because I wanted to survive a U-turn from the Mess Brit, and if I had to pull something like that off, then I needed a better round of HP. Uh, and of course I have Unburden, so I'm like here like, uh, yeah, no. This, this is unforgiving, this is just bad planning, this is just bad planning on my part. Or obviously, I, it's not like I say that I did anything different. And the, the mole finally goes down, but you know, the damage is already done, the Mess Brit's gonna come back in. And uh, there is nothing I can do. I could save Septile for potential speed, but I, I really just wanted to get some momentum now. I thought that, you know, this is this is a pr pretty much over. I could maybe switch out to Quillfish, but I wouldn't want to risk that. And at the same time, I really don't care for it too much. So he'll go for Norton, which is the Rotom, and I decided here to go for Girder. And basically, I was open here for, um, not gonna lie, that he would go for a will o wisp that he would take that risk. Uh, because, of course, I'm Guts and not Iron Fist. And uh, he's going for the Thunderbolt, sadly. While he won't do a lot of damage because of the Violite, uh, the knockoff would just like boom, gone, sober, get away from me, scrotum. <laughs> but yeah, the biggest like issue here is that Mesprit is still like, faster, and the only Pokemon I have that can actually deal with that properly is actually the Mr. Mime, and um, I, I wonder if it was the right play to make. I should probably, I would probably actually been able to take a Psychic, even though it's stabbed due to my defenses. 
consider my damage that actually Thunderbolt did uh, from the Rotom. Um, so anyway, he's gonna switch out, that's fine. I think I decided to go yet again for an Icy Wind. And uh, I don't think it does a lot of damage. Yeah, there it is. I should probably see this one coming, thinking about it, but I didn't. And um, yeah, his speed will fail. I have to take back the Purple Rain or Freddy Mercury, probably the better name for it. And I'm going to Eternia, which is of course a Quillfish. And uh, this is basically, I, I never used Quillfish before, so I basically want to use it. And of course, it only has the likes of Spikes and T Wave, Waterfall, and Destiny Bond. And you know, one would think that uh, that would make a difference, but no, it doesn't. And I don't remember why I did this play, to be honest. Uh, I was probably thinking he would switch out back to his Mesprit, trying to deal with my, um, trying to deal with uh, the Quillfish. But no, he's going for Memento, and that's really bad. And he's gonna go to his sprite. And this time, due to my attack being a lot lowered. Uh, I will not be able to comprehend the damage here at all. Well, I do manage to survive that hit. It is not gonna work here. It just it's not. Uh, I basically take down the speed to actually outspeed it and then go for Magical Leaf. Um, like I said, I did have Dazzling Gleam. I'm still thinking about why I didn't do that play, to be honest. Uh, there was no reason for me of doing anything else. So, anyway, I'm gonna go to Eternia Bay again, and I really thought to hear that I could probably go for Spikes. Like, his Pokemon he's left is, um, is Roselia, it is this thing, and Torterra. And I was thinking, yes, I should have Ice Punch on Girder. I should definitely win this game if I get up two layers of Spikes. Because then Mesprit will die on the Switch. It's the first layer coming up, that's awesome. Um, didn't really care for this Pokemon at all. I could potentially see Torterra as a threat, but as of right now, I don't, because I have Ice Punch, right? So anyway, he's gonna show me the Rock Polish, it's really, really fine, I get my second layer up, which is of course important. Think about it, Destiny Bond would have been the smarter play, because he only had a stuff Rocker beat of his mobile, so I should have seen his Torterra as potential sweeper. Uh, I didn't though, and I thought that, you know, I probably wasn't good enough HP to survive an EQ. Uh, I am not. For some reason, I'm not, and uh, I guess Quillfish isn't really that bulky. So anyway, Girder's gonna come in, and this is the time I realized I have Bulk Up, not Ice Punch. And I was like, oh no, this is just awful. Uh, because the thing is here, like, I will lose this matchup, I have Drain Punch, I believe, and it does a respectable amount of damage, though hardly enough. Ice Punch wouldn't KO it, but the combination with Mag Punch would. And of course, with Mesprit comes in, it would have died of Mag Punch. And Roselia would not have been able to do a lot of damage on this thing. It, it might actually have won the matchup, I think, but I also still have a chance. But we don't see that one coming, of course, due to, well, bad planning. And that was the first game with NUCL. I lose 3-0, I believe. And looking back at the game, you know, obviously, Stoutland would have helped a lot here. I do draft the Stoutland, Mantine, Hippopotas. And uh, one more Pokemon, Avalog. Uh, I did have Avalog though, but I did not have, that's the worst part, I did not have access to Hippopotas, Stoutland, or Mantine. Now Mantine wouldn't have helped this battle, but Hippopotas and Stoutland would have definitely helped here. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not really mad about the outcome, I'm just frustrated over that... Um, actually that the league started so early because I, I don't have the time. And it's gonna um, probably look like these matches are not gonna be well constructed. At least the first four four ones I have is not gonna be good. Uh, and I'm fully aware of that. And they are too. And um, I guess the more supportive part is I would make it to the playoffs. So who cares if I get a few losses. And maybe I get a few wins too if I play my cards right. Who knows. Uh, but anyway guys, I wanna thank you for watching. Actually, I should actually comment the rest of the map. He played a very nice game. His team was definitely prepared for me. I mean, there, there is not, not more, much more I can say. Very very well constructed, Thomas. Nicely done, man. Uh, and I think with that in my guys, I want to thank you for watching, of course. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next match from the NCL. Yes, it's been two weeks so far. Uh, so until then, I see you tomorrow. Bye.